renovations and construction here at Three Forks Schools that has kindergarten through 12th grade all under one roof began almost two years ago and now it is finally nearing completion. Definitely was excited to get into a new classroom and um, be settled in. Wyatt Murdoch has been teaching middle school and high school social studies in Three Forks for two years but two weeks ago his classroom looked a little different than what you see here. Visualize a trailer um, and that's where I was out with my students uh, for the first half of the year. Murdoch says his old classroom wasn't the most convenient but now the kids know that they're in the building they're they're able to like go to the bathroom quickly and uh, go to their locker quickly so it's been really nice to actually feel like I'm in a permanent permanent yeah. space. According to Superintendent Rhonda Uthlot, the $25 million project didn't just include new classrooms. Oh, there's been so much going on. A new gym, kitchen, cafeteria space, office space, and... We have all new heating uh, system. Uthlot says not only did Three Forks need to expand their school to accommodate the town's growth, but they also needed to take care of safety and security issues by using this new system that actually does a background check on visitors when they sign in. We welcome people, want people to come and visit. We just want to make sure our kids and staff are secure. Even though Three Forks has made tons of progress with their renovations, Uthlot says there have been plenty of challenges. We are still waiting on some of our electrical equipment, and so we, we've had people put their heads together, problem solve, and keep the progress going. Despite the setbacks caused by supply chain shortages, Uthlot says they are still on track to be done by the end of May. You know, the best part is the kids. They really, I can see that they're very proud of what we have here. Like Ruby Warden, a senior who has been going to school in Three Forks since eighth grade. We've had the same tiny school for years, and now it's cool to see it grow because we have so many new kids coming in. In Three Forks, Jolie Salee, MTN News.